Hello and welcome to another Prime demo. Today we've got the latest and greatest compact impact wrenches from Makita, who's our reigning champion, against Hitachi's new model. So we've got the Makita DTW 285. This is their latest update of their brushless half inch uh, rattle gun. It's got 280 newton meters of torque in fastening and up against Hitachi's WR18DB DL2, which is their new IP56 brushless, rated at 300 newton meters of fastening. So after our last review, we had lots of comments back on that we were working on reverse torque, whereas these are all rated in fastening. So we've got our trusty torque wrench and we're going to set up a test today. What we've done is we've looped up the bolts like we'd have normally. We're just going to snug them down tight. What we're going to do is start it off at 280 newton meters, which is the Makita's rating, to see whether the Makita one can actually fasten past that 280 and see whether Hitachi sticks up to its claim to being able to fasten past that. Once they tap out, we're going to pick up the torque wrench and see if we can pull it past on and find out a rating for you to give a real world test of what these tools are capable of. Both tools here, we've got the 5 amp hour batteries. As you can see, they're fully charged, ready to go and on the highest speed mode. The torque wrench here is set at 280 newton meters. So on this setting, this should this should click and it shouldn't move the bolts, indicating that it's reached its 280 newton meters. So that's clicked there, so that's showing that it's got 280. We might just even ramp it up now to 290. So you can see there again, it's on 290 Newton meters. So it's actually fastened down higher than what it's rated already because when we're pulling this torque wrench, it's not actually turning the socket any further, so we're not applying any more further pressure. We're just measuring what torque has been put on it. So, skip up now to 300. Again, no movement. So, you can see the Makita's put in a pretty good effort. We're going to go to 320 now. Jump up to 360 newton meters. By the way, it's a brand new calibrated torque wrench, so it's about as accurate as you're going to get. Very impressive. Yeah, right up to now the 400, the full capacity of the torque wrench, just to see if we can twist this bolt further than what the Makita is right now to tighten it up. Again, no movement on the socket shows us that that's made a pretty good impact on that, that has tightened it up to around 400 newton meters. So, try and see Switch across now to the high touch here. Just try to see if we can get any further movement on it. Now this isn't the most accurate way of doing it, but we've proceeded along here with the, the Makita and that's, up, that's tightened it down to that specification. So this being rated for another 25 Newton meters should be able to comfortably turn it further. Put a line on the socket there, just so you can get an indication at home of seeing whether the bolt has actually moved. So 
So very small increase there, not a lot of torque difference, but like I say, at these sort of torque ratings, it's pretty impressive that both of these tools have done it. So what we're gonna do is just try the test in reverse to see if then the Makita can override the Hitachi. Hitachi to undo this, but like I say, all these tools are reverse bias, so they're going to have more power in reverse. So now what we're going to do is seat this down and see if the Makita can tighten it up further. That's the full capacity that Hitachi's got. You can see there, the Makita's there put about a, an eighth of a turn in further, showing it's definitely got a bit more grunt. Let's go to the next bolt. Not quite as dramatic movement as the first bolt, but you can see it's definitely got more grunt. You can see there it's continued on again. So from our basic test here, you can see that these tools are fastened to pretty close to 400 Newton meters in a real world test, along with the Makita has definitely been able to fasten higher than the Hitachi, even though it's rated at 25 Newton meters less. So just another great, you know, these, these tools are both Japanese built and you can hear it in the quality in both of them, but the Makita is just such a great, well-balanced tool. It puts out more power in our test today. So if you've got any more ideas for us or you've got any criticisms of these videos, we're open to hear it. Uh, make sure you click subscribe if you like these videos and comment us on your feedback. Love to hear from you. Alright, thanks very much and tune in next time for another Prime Industrial Tool Review.